Welcome back to Encyclopedia Inventio, where we unearth the stories of brilliant minds whose innovations have left an indelible mark on our world. I'm Clayton Hester. And I'm Polly Irwin. Today, we're diving into a tale that's not just about machinery and invention, but also about authenticity, perseverance, and a name that became synonymous with genuine quality. We've all heard the phrase, the real McCoy when referring to something authentic or the real deal. But how many of us know the story behind this saying? The story of a man whose inventions were so superior that they set the gold standard in their field. Enter Elijah McCoy, born on May 2nd, 1844 in Canada to parents who escaped from slavery in Kentucky. Later, he moved to Ypsilanti, Michigan, where he developed a fascination with mechanical engineering. A brilliant inventor of the late 19th century, his innovations in machinery lubrication not only revolutionized industries, but also gave birth to a phrase that's still used today to denote authenticity. It's a journey that takes us to the heart of the industrial age, where steam-powered locomotives roared and factories hummed, a world where machinery was king, and the need for efficient, reliable lubrication was paramount. So buckle up, dear listeners, as we embark on a journey to discover the man, the myth, and the machines that earned the title of The Real McCoy. This is Encyclopedia Inventio, a podcast on the history of inspiration and perspiration. We're a part of the Clay Podcast Network. For more podcasts, go to clay.inc. To truly appreciate Elijah McCoy's genius, we must first immerse ourselves in the era he lived in. The late 19th century, a period marked by rapid industrial growth, technological advancements, and societal shifts. It was the age of steam and steel. Railways crisscrossed continents, connecting cities and fueling economies. Factories, with their massive machines, became the beating heart of urban centers, producing goods at an unprecedented scale. And with this industrial boom came challenges. Machines, especially steam engines, were prone to wear and tear. They needed regular maintenance, And one of the most critical aspects of this was lubrication. Imagine a locomotive, its powerful engine driving it across vast distances. But without proper lubrication, its parts would grind, overheat, and eventually fail. The challenge? Keeping these machines running smoothly without frequent stops for maintenance. And it wasn't just locomotives. Factories, ships, and various other industries relied heavily on machinery. The demand for an efficient lubrication solution was immense, and while there were methods in place, they were often rudimentary, requiring manual intervention and frequent downtime. This was the world Elijah McCoy stepped into, a world on the cusp of modernity, yet grappling with challenges that could hinder progress. But as we'll soon discover, McCoy wasn't one to be daunted by challenges. Instead, he saw them as opportunities. And it's against this backdrop of steam, steel, and societal change that McCoy's story unfolds. A tale of innovation, determination, and a quest for authenticity in an age of imitations. Born in 1844 in Colchester, Ontario, to parents who had escaped slavery via the Underground Railroad, Elijah McCoy's early life was marked by resilience and determination. His family's journey from the bonds of slavery to the free lands of Canada is a testament to their indomitable spirit. And it was in this environment of hope and perseverance that young Elijah's curiosity was nurtured. From an early age, he displayed a keen interest in mechanics, often tinkering with tools and machines, trying to understand their inner workings. Recognizing his potential, his parents sent him to Edinburgh, Scotland for formal training in mechanical engineering. It was a bold move, especially considering the racial prejudices of the time. But Elijah's passion and talent shone through and he returned to North America equipped with knowledge and a vision. But the path wasn't easy. Despite his qualifications, McCoy faced racial barriers that limited his opportunities. Instead of positions befitting an engineer, he often found work as a fireman or oilman on the railways, roles that involved tending to the steam engines. It was during these years amidst the soot and steam that McCoy identified a pressing issue, the inefficient lubrication of train engine parts. And rather than resigning to the status quo, he saw an opportunity to innovate. And innovate he did. 
But McCoy's inventions were just one facet of his story. Beyond the machinery and patents, there was a man who faced societal prejudices, who constantly had to prove his worth in a world that often undervalued him because of his skin color. So, as we delve deeper into the life of Elijah McCoy, we discover a tale of brilliance, resilience, and determination. A story that reminds us that true greatness often emerges from adversity and that authenticity always shines through, earning its rightful place in history. As we've established, the industrial age was a time of relentless motion. Machines, especially locomotives, were the lifeblood of this era. But with motion came friction, and with friction came wear and tear. And it was this very friction that Elijah McCoy confronted daily in his role on the railways. The constant need to stop trains for manual lubrication was not just inefficient, but also posed risks. Every halt was a potential delay, a potential accident waiting to happen. And in 1872, the world was introduced to McCoy's automatic lubricator, a device ingeniously designed to drip oil onto moving parts at regular intervals. It was simple, effective, and revolutionary. But as with many great inventors, McCoy saw a problem as an opportunity. Drawing from his training in mechanical engineering and his hands-on experience with locomotives, he began to conceptualize a solution. This wasn't just a minor tweak, it was a game changer. Trains could now run longer distances without frequent stops for maintenance. The lifespan of machinery increased and operational costs decreased. The impact was immediate and profound. And while the automatic lubricator was McCoy's most famous invention, it was by no means his only one. Over the years, he refined and expanded upon his designs, adapting them to various machinery and industries. But with innovation came imitation. McCoy's success inevitably attracted competitors, many of whom tried to replicate or even counterfeit his designs. But there was a reason people began asking for the real McCoy when seeking lubrication solutions. So from the heart of a steam-filled railway yard, a groundbreaking invention was born. An invention that would not only transform industries, but also etch the name McCoy into the annals of history. The real McCoy. It's a phrase we've all used at some point, a testament to authenticity and quality, but how did this saying, rooted in the world of machinery and lubrication, become a staple of everyday language? It's a fascinating journey, Clayton. As we've discussed, McCoy's automatic lubricator was a game changer. But as with any successful invention, it wasn't long before the market was flooded with imitations. And these weren't just harmless knockoffs. Many of these imitations were inferior in quality, leading to machinery breakdowns and operational issues. It became crucial for businesses to ensure they were getting the genuine article. Picture this. Railway operators and factory owners keen on getting the best lubrication solution, specifically asking vendors for McCoy's invention. They didn't want just any lubricator. They wanted the real McCoy. It was a stamp of approval, a seal of quality. And as the phrase gained popularity in industrial circles, it began to seep into everyday language. Soon, the real McCoy was being used to describe anything that was genuine or of high quality. And it wasn't just limited to products. Over time, the phrase was used to describe people, experiences, and even ideas. Anything that was authentic and top-notch was dubbed the real McCoy. And it wasn't just limited to products. Over time, the phrase was used to describe people, experiences, and even ideas. Anything that was authentic and top-notch was dubbed the real McCoy. Every inventor's journey is marked by peaks and valleys, moments of elation, and periods of doubt. And for Elijah McCoy, these challenges were amplified by the societal constraints of his time. That's right, Polly. Racial prejudices were rampant, and opportunities were often limited by the color of one's skin. Despite his formal education and undeniable talent, McCoy faced barriers at every turn. 
He was often relegated to positions beneath his qualifications, and his inventions, though revolutionary, were sometimes met with skepticism simply because of his racial background. And then there were the imitators. As we've discussed, McCoy's success led to a flood of counterfeits and knockoffs. Protecting his patents and ensuring his inventions weren't plagiarized became a constant battle. But amidst these challenges, McCoy's spirit remained unyielding. He continued to innovate, refine, and push the boundaries of what was possible. His resilience in the face of adversity is a testament to his character and determination. And his triumphs weren't just limited to his inventions. McCoy became a beacon of hope for the black community, a symbol of what was possible despite societal constraints. He inspired countless others to pursue their dreams, to challenge the status quo, and to leave their mark on the world. His legacy is a reminder that true innovation isn't just about creating something new. It's about overcoming obstacles, breaking barriers, and paving the way for future generations. His legacy is a reminder that true innovation isn't just about creating something new. It's about overcoming obstacles, breaking barriers, and paving the way for future generations. So, as we reflect on McCoy's life, let's remember not just the inventor, but the man. The man who faced adversity head-on, who never wavered in his commitment to excellence, and who left behind a legacy that continues to inspire. McCoy's innovations in machinery lubrication transformed industries, setting new standards for efficiency and reliability. But his impact wasn't just limited to the realm of engineering. Indeed, Polly. Elijah McCoy became a symbol, a beacon of hope in a society marked by racial prejudices. His success story inspired countless others, showing that with determination, talent, and a vision, one could rise above societal constraints. And his legacy continues to be celebrated today. Schools, scholarships, and institutions bear his name, ensuring that future generations are familiar with his contributions and the challenges he overcame. Beyond the accolades and recognition, McCoy's true legacy lies in the values he embodied, perseverance, innovation, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. These are values that resonate across time, inspiring inventors, dreamers, and visionaries of every generation. That's right. And after returning home, Elijah's dreams of working as a mechanical engineer hit a roadblock. But he didn't give up. He landed a gig as a fireman at the Michigan Central Railroad. And after returning home, Elijah's dreams of working as a mechanical engineer hit a roadblock. But he didn't give up. He landed a gig as a fireman at the Michigan Central Railroad. Now, firemen weren't just fighting fires back then. They were responsible for keeping those engines running smoothly. And here's the kicker. Every time those engines needed lubrication, the whole show had to stop. Talk about inefficiency, right? Elijah wasn't one to settle for the status quo. He put on his thinking cap, rolled up his sleeves, and voila, the automatic engine lubricator was born. This ingenious device allowed engines to be lubricated while they were still running. No more costly stops and starts. Time and money saved, just like that. And guess what, listeners? Elijah's invention wasn't just a one-hit wonder, he kept refining and improving it. Soon, his automatic lubricator was used in heavy-duty machinery, long-distance locomotives, and even transatlantic ships. McCoy had 57 U.S. patents to his name. That's no small feat. Absolutely. And what's fascinating is that Booker T. Washington, a prominent African-American educator, author, and advisor to presidents, cited McCoy in his work, Story of the Negro, as the black inventor with the greatest number of U.S. patents. That's some high praise coming from Washington. And you know, McCoy's story is not just a tale of individual brilliance, it's also a testament to resilience. He was born in Canada to parents who had escaped slavery through the Underground Railroad. Eventually, he moved to the United States and faced a lot of racial barriers. Despite having an engineering degree, he couldn't find work as an engineer due to racial discrimination. In 2001, he was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. There's also a historical marker outside his old workshop in Ypsilanti, Michigan. And let's not forget the Elijah J. McCoy Midwest Regional U.S. Patent and Trademark Office in Detroit, named in his honor. 
That's a legacy that goes beyond just patents and inventions. It's about breaking barriers and setting a standard of excellence. McCoy's story is a source of inspiration, not just for inventors, but for anyone who faces obstacles and challenges. It's a reminder that brilliance and ingenuity can come from anywhere, regardless of your background. This device of his wasn't just a one-trick pony. It had applications far beyond the railroad. The genius of McCoy's invention was its versatility. It wasn't just a game changer for the train systems. It found its way into oil drilling rigs, mining equipment, construction tools, and even factory machinery. That's a broad spectrum of industries that benefited from one invention. And let's talk about the problem it solved. According to the patent, the device was designed to provide for the continuous flow of oil on the gears and other moving parts of a machine in order to keep it lubricated properly and continuous and thereby do away with the necessity of shutting down the machine periodically. That's huge. So, we've been talking about Elijah McCoy's groundbreaking inventions and their impact on various industries. But McCoy's story doesn't end with just one invention. He was a man who continually sought to improve and innovate. Absolutely. McCoy didn't rest on his laurels. He kept refining his automatic lubricator and his innovations caught the attention of railroad and shipping lines. The Michigan Central Railroad even promoted him to an instructor to teach others how to use his inventions. That's a big deal. It is. And it's worth noting that McCoy also became a consultant to the railroad industry on patent matters. He was not just an inventor, he was an authority in his field. And let's not forget, he also invented other things like an ironing board and a lawn sprinkler designed to make household tasks easier. Right. He was a man who saw problems and found solutions whether it was in the industrial sector or in everyday life. But his life wasn't without its challenges. In 1922, McCoy and his wife Mary were in a tragic car accident. Mary died from her injuries, and McCoy himself faced severe health issues for the rest of his life. That's a heartbreaking chapter in his life, and it did complicate his professional obligations. But even before that, in 1920, McCoy had taken a significant step. He opened his own manufacturing company to produce his inventions. He wanted control over his work, rather than licensing his designs to other companies. And that's a bold move, especially for a black entrepreneur in the early 20th century. Unfortunately, the later years of his life were marked by a series of setbacks, financial, mental, and physical, that ultimately led to his hospitalization. Yes, he died on October 10, 1929, from complications related to hypertension after spending a year in the Eloise Infirmary in Michigan. It's a somber end to a life filled with so much innovation and impact. But even in the face of those challenges, McCoy's legacy endures. He's buried in Detroit Memorial Park East in Warren, Michigan, but his real monument is his work and the industries he transformed. His story is a complex tapestry of triumphs and tragedies, but one that continues to inspire. McCoy's life serves as a reminder that innovation is a journey, often filled with highs and lows. And even when faced with personal and systemic obstacles, his contributions to the world remained invaluable. And that's the essence of Elijah McCoy, a man who, despite the odds, left an indelible mark on the world. His inventions live on, his impact is still felt, and his story continues to inspire new generations of inventors and problem solvers. This is Encyclopedia Inventio, a podcast on the history of inspiration and perspiration. We're a part of the Clay Podcast Network. For more podcasts, go to clay.inc. Clay is prepping its first creativity coaching class. Creativity is the most crucial skill of the 21st century, and it pays to develop your imaginative muscles to help move you forward. Whether you're an artist who wants to take their work full-time, or a business person who's trying to figure out how to make your company take off. It's all creativity, and it's all under the microscope at the Clay Laboratory. To become a cutting-edge creative, go to coaching.clay.in. The Clay Podcast Network. Big ideas take shape here. Go to www.clay.inc.